Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly uh, wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm very relaxed. Um, I traded half a day today. I went to uh, Long Branch, New Jersey for all you guys in the Tri-State area. Had a great time in the shore. Got some swimming in, uh, some beach. It was like, it was a fish basically that needed water. Uh, and I finally got my water, and that was the fish. Um, really aggressive day. Ye yesterday, we talked about how, you know, in my opinion, I, I wasn't expecting yesterday's rally. It just kind of, for me, it just, just came out of nowhere. I, I just, again, I didn't believe that there was going to be that much aggression uh, that they could take out three, four days worth of supply. And I joked around last night on uh, Twitter that I said, I'm narrowing down uh, my watch list for today to about 837 stocks. And if you traded today, and I traded to about lunchtime today, um, if you traded today, you literally, I, I think I literally traded 800 of them, or at least five, um, within the first 45 minutes, okay? That's how aggressive uh, the market was. Uh, but again, we, we had a very, very specific game plan today. I put a lot of beta names um, on the pivot feed, okay, which they, they never got there. Uh, but the most amazing part was we actually had a secondary plan. And I was looking at names that didn't quite participate in yesterday's rally, making those uh, really, really aggressive moves. I was looking at the names that were the second tier moves, right? The stocks that were coming out of the channels, uh, whether they, were, they, they took out a high in recent weeks and they were just kind of consolidating, uh, or they were had a, a measure potential run. And every single stock that I traded today, uh, DraftKings, Roku, um, Space, Beyond, uh, what else did I freaking trade today? Oh, Facebook, I traded Facebook also, I had a 70 cent loss. That's the only loss I had today in Facebook. But the, the, every single pivot that we had today that really went, really had aggressively had a common denominator, had really, really aggressive uh, call buying, you know, short-term expiration, the weekly call buyers coming in, uh, and those stocks really, really exploded. And what I like about the action today was we identified where the value was. We weren't looking uh, at Amazon gapping up 50 points. We weren't looking at Tesla, uh, you know, gapping up another 50 points. We, you know, we were concentrating on the names that I think weren't as sexy as those names, but they weren't names that uh, were in the FOMO crowd, okay, that they, they were trying to play catch up. There were names, there were former runners, uh, they had the option flow, aggressive near term expiration, and usually when option flow near term meets um, daily confirmation or a sneaky channel that I like to call confirmation, usually good things are going to happen. And with this type of environment, Again, it doesn't take a lot to get momentum. It really doesn't. All it starts taking some out of the money calls, a channel gets confirmed, the fuse is lit, and you get really, really aggressive things. And the most amazing part is, you know, again, people, you know, I always get random uh, questions like, Dan, where do you think the market's going to be three weeks from now? You know, again, I, I'm in the position right now that I'm, I'm really at peace with myself that I don't need to make pr predictions. I, I don't have to know, okay? I, I'm literally. Uh, taking this tape uh, day by day. That's all I'm doing. And I've been saying this now uh, since the start of COVID. I, again, I'm not smart enough uh, to predict or have a crystal ball to try to figure out where this market's going to be in June 2026. I don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. Uh, we're literally one headline away, whether it's good or bad, in being next level of sentiment. So again, the idea that somebody can turn around and, and, and really have conviction what you think is going to happen next is, is silly, right? It's silly. It just doesn't, it doesn't pay to guess, okay? We can have an idea, right? The market is still very, very strong. You could turn around and say tomorrow, well, you know, the, the NASDAQ composite was up uh, 260 points yesterday. It was down 80 points today. It was an inside day. The market's strong. We're going to go higher. At least that's an 
educated opinion. Again, the idea that you could turn around and say, this market is going, the queues are going to 270 tomorrow. Maybe they will, maybe they don't. We, we don't know that. But I think it's safer and more prudent uh, just to take it day by day, just to take it literally uh, trade by trade. And that's exactly what we did. Again, if you look at uh, the scoreboard today, you know, I'm not going to really paint a picture. You know, the Qs, uh, you know, the, the Nasdaq Composite down like 80. Uh, Spies were up five points. Dow Jones Industrial is up 150 points. It really didn't paint a picture. Again, what, what, what we're is staying kind of pat is kind of where, you know, this upward bias is, the upward trend. And I have to assume now, just because where we are, okay, unless we have some really aggressive, um, you know, really aggressive news come out, you know, some sort of negative news. We're just going to kind of drift higher. You know, of course, we're going to have some pulls along the way to the downside, but we're going to continue to drift higher. Um, and, you know, the more things start getting back to normal, like, for example, sports, I'm a, you know, a big, huge sports fan. The idea that we haven't had sports since March, for me, at least, and I can speak for a lot of people uh, watching this broadcast, it's a big deal to us. So the idea that you know, baseball is starting on Thursday. The NBA is starting next week. Hopefully the NFL starts um, on time. This is a big deal to us. For me, this is what normal is. Again, I, I work from home. I trade from home. The idea that, the idea that I'm stuck at home, yeah, it kind of sucks, but I'm not really stuck at home anymore. You know, I am, um, you know, going hiking with my family, playing tennis with my family. Uh, we went to the beach today. So, you know, I still go to Starbucks now on a drive through So slowly but surely, my life is getting back to normal. And the more normalcy that we're starting to get uh, just in everyday life, and again, I'm just using sports as uh, kind of, you know, kind of a side note, the more and more the market is going to start embracing COVID even more. Now, obviously, the next question is schools, right? Everybody has uh, their opinion about schools, and again, you know, you know, we're on the, you know, we're on the fence. Um, you know, we're definitely on the fence because, uh, again, even though uh, both of my kids' schools are having tremendous technological um, ways to kind of protect our kids, you know, our, you know, our whole theory is, well, if we're having the conference call on Zoom, well, how safe is it again to throw all kids? Uh, in the middle of a petri dish, and hopefully nobody gets sick when they go uh, back home. But again, that's just that's definitely a, a conversation uh, that's not here nor there. I respect everybody's decision. If you want to send your kids to school, that's so great. If you want to keep your kids from home, that's great as well. But again, the market will kind of take everything uh, intact as uh, we get there. So tomorrow, you know, you know, I want to give uh, the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, uh, I believe Tesla reports tomorrow. Obviously, all eyes on Tesla. Uh, stock closed. Uh, yeah, there was actually a pretty good pivot. I, I, I didn't put this on the Twitter feed uh, for all you guys in the live webinar. There was a really good pivot at 1602 that we talked about right before we left. So hopefully, I didn't speak to anybody yet in the, in the webinar, but hopefully you guys took advantage of that. But again, all eyes on Tesla. I mean, what are you going to say? The stock has, you know, gone from 350, okay, from January, February, from March, okay, it's gone from $350 to 1900 your guess is as good as mine what's going to happen tomorrow into earnings. But again, uh, this is, again, this is incredible, incredible stuff. I didn't trade Tesla today. There was no reason to trade Tesla today. Uh, the value was in other places. But now we're slowly but surely uh, getting into uh, the meat and potatoes uh, of earnings season, especially into uh, beta, high-flying beta names. Uh, so we'll definitely get some more clarity uh, going into uh, August. So let's talk about it, right? Obviously, again, I want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Rotation is definitely the name of the game. Uh, I'm trading more and more names uh, that have nothing to do with beta, okay? Like I traded uh, DraftKings today. I had a you know, pretty decent scalp there. I had a really good trade uh, in space, and there were a couple of really good uh, beta names. Roku exploded. And again, slowly but surely, Roku is starting to remind me of where Netflix was. I don't want to compare Roku to Tesla, okay? But Roku is starting to remind me of where Netflix was two, three years ago. We're, we're getting uh, a rare breed, and there was only one or two stocks except for, uh, excuse me, one name except for Netflix, and that was Tesla, the combination of speed and power, which basically means the aggressive nation, nature of liquidity 
uh, with the average true range, and that's where Roku is. And Roku is becoming a phenomenal trader, uh, especially when there is aggressive uh, option order flow, and usually good things are going to happen. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, very, very aggressive session, okay? Uh, incredibly aggressive session here. So uh, Microsoft, I was watching, uh, never got to this 215 level. It got upgraded today. So, you know, I started putting the names... Uh, I started putting the names on the list that I felt that could get to 52-week uh, highs, but it never did. Okay, Microsoft got upgraded, uh, never did, never came close to, uh, to the 215 area. Uh, I was watching Facebook. I actually took Facebook on a dip, and I wound up losing about 70 cents on the dip when everything got pulled. So I was like, listen, you know, let me get out of the way. Uh, so that was my only loss of the day, which is good because the rest of the day was really, really aggressive. Uh, Zoom never got to this 273 level, but this is where the day... Uh, really started getting aggressive uh, for me. Uh, I got long Roku. Uh, Roku exploded, man. We talk about again order flow, man. They, they were coming for. Uh, so here is the pivot here. This 50 here. Here's the pivot here. This whole uh, 54 area, right? 53, 80, 54. The stock went to uh, 159. Just an absolute explosion. They were coming for uh, the 160, 165, and the 170 weekly calls. When you get that money excuse me, when you get that flow uh, with a confirmation channel, usually aggressive things going to happen. Um, let's see here. Netflix never got to the 505 area. It traded, 80, it traded 508 pre-market and then opened well below that 505 area. Huyu was pretty good also. They were also coming, again, another example of order flow. Uh, they were coming for uh, the 27 weeklies, repeat call buyers coming in on the repeat uh, so 2550 needs to build. Uh, Huya had a nice little move here. So here was Huya, uh, got above the 2550, right? 2550 and went to 20, almost 2650. So a dollar move there. Obviously everything got pulled. Uh, this was definitely the move of the day. Uh, 131. I said it could get to 135. This was a phenomenal trade. I, you know, what was great about Beyond? We watched it. I, it I was watching this thing for five days for a short. As you, and I kept on talking about it held this level several times. One, two, three, four times. So as soon as it held, all it now I was starting to look back to the upside. And this 131 level was the key. And you can see here 135, 136 uh, was supply. This is a really, really great move. Uh, 131 needs to build. Uh, put up a $5 move. Really good move there. Uh, WHKS never came close to this. Well, actually, excuse me, came, went to 1710, never got to the 1720. Uh, Apple never got to the 39750. And here was space, really good trade on space. So I get long uh, 24, 2481, 2482. Uh, space had really, really aggressive water flow. And this is the highest close in space in this whole channel. If you watch the order flow today on space, you saw the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 weekly calls. I still want to watch it uh, for tomorrow. It traded as high as uh, 26, 32. Really, really great move. Congratulations for you guys uh, who caught that as well. Uh, again, beautiful move there. Even Boeing gave a trade. Uh, 81, 20, 81, 50 needs to build. Not a big trade, but again, it definitely gave a trade here. So here is the 81, 20, right? 81, 20. Uh, went to 82.65, and again, and then it got pulled, and then it kind of woke back up. But again, not every single trade needs to be $12. We want those trades, but unfortunately, we don't get those trades uh, every single time. So Boeing, nice move there. Um, space, really good move there. I mean, gorgeous move. Great, great move on Roku. Uh, so that was that monster, monster, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Tesla, just in case it woke up. Uh, ITCI is still like, this is the first close. For all you guys who are uh, swinging ITCI, this is the first close below that $22 level. Um, ITCI, it didn't put in a big move yet, right? It closed below uh, 81, but this thing, you know, this thing has room. This thing maybe gets down uh, to the 2120s. Any close below 2120s, this thing is going uh, to test this $20, $20 level. So if you are, if you are trading, uh, if you are in ITCI, you could get a good multiple day run. Uh, so that one is fine as well. Shill, I still like below this 21 area. Uh, Huya, new highs, weekly call buyer, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's it. And that's it. I think that's it. Um, and that's it. So again, I only traded till about lunchtime. Uh, tomorrow, again, we'll get a good, um, we'll, we will get a good uh, game plan uh, for tomorrow's session. Uh, please arrive at Morning Strategy at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And with God's help, I'll see you all there. Take care, guys. Have a great night. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. 
you're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.